Hey folks, welcome back to Embers Only Barbecue. Today we're going to show you how to sous vide this beautiful rack of lamb from D'Artagnan. Check it out. All right, so we're going to get this lamb seasoned up. Pretty simple here. We're just going to do kosher salt, fresh cracked pepper, and a madras style curry. Uh, and we're going to season both sides of the meat here. And there's a debate in sous vide over whether or not you should salt uh, before or after. I'm in the salt before camp. Uh, and season everything before. I think you get some really nice flavor sitting inside there. Here's the fresh cracked pepper and then our Madras style Indian curry. A lot of different blends, uh, spice blends you can do or simple salt and pepper, fresh herbs. Uh, rack of lamb is just really versatile and, and takes a ton of different flavors really well. Alright, so we've seasoned both sides of the rack. Next thing we're going to do is get into our bag. I like a freezer gallon Ziploc bag. And with the rack, the, the trickiest part is just the bones. Um, so we're going to go meat side into the bottom of the bag here. All the way in. And then we'll get that closed up and into the bath. Alright, so we're bagged up. I like to leave just a little bit of space here for my index finger as we drop this into the bath. And then you want to just slowly push this in, get all the air out, let it drop down. You might need to do this once or twice, especially with the rack, uh, just because a lot of little air bubbles can, can set up in between the bones there. But this looks pretty good. We're sinking right down to the bottom. Uh, and another little hack, if it is floating up on you, you could always take a little coffee cup, put a little water in, and, and have that sit on top. Uh, but we like to set this for 133, and then we'll hold this for anywhere from one to four hours, and then we'll get it seared up real nice. Two quick sous vide tips. One, you definitely want to start with hot water in the pot instead of letting it warm up uh, from cold tap. And two, if your meat is sitting at the bottom of uh, your vessel, you can use a little wooden clothespin to pick it up and get the water to uh, float all around it. All right, so we're three hours in the bath. We're going to get this out and pat it dry with some paper towels. All right, super important step before we heat uh, this lamb up and get a hot sear on it is make sure you pat it dry with paper towels. There's still a lot of moisture on it. Uh, when you go into a hot pan or the grill, it's gonna steam. So you wanna make sure this is completely dry. Then we're gonna go get it nice and hot for a killer crust. All right, our grill is stabilized at about 500 degrees. Uh, so we're gonna put about a one to one and a half minute sear on each side here. Uh, alternatively, if you wanted to sear uh, indoors, you can go with a heavy cast iron. Uh, make sure you heat up the pan for about 10 minutes beforehand, and then use a high heat uh, smoking point oil, like vegetable oil, canola oil, um, as, you, as you sear on the cast iron. About a minute, minute and a half per side should be good here. All right, so a minute and a half in. I'm gonna flip, good looking char. And we'll let that go for about another minute, pull it off. All right, minutes up. I'm gonna pull this rack beauty right off. Still smoking. All right, so I like to slice this uh, two bones at a time. So I come in right around here, go down. And that right there is a perfect sous vide rack of lamb. We'll get the rest sliced up. But these are just beautiful pieces here. All right, this smells amazing. Last thing I like to do is get a little floor to sell French finishing salt uh, right onto the cut meat surface here and get some salty charred meat in our mouths. Enjoy. All right, so there you have it, sous vide rack of lamb with a nice hot sear on the grill. Hope you enjoy. If you like that, please hit subscribe, leave us a comment. Thanks so much.